Christopher, we understand the canoe was overloaded, which then caused this accident. What more do we know? Yes, so uh, Portia, uh, like you rightly mentioned, uh, the accident happened yesterday, and it's because yesterday, even though the canoe was uh, overloaded, there was also uh, wind that was blowing around that area. So uh, it caused uh, this accident. And as we speak, uh, the uh, dead bodies have been retrieved from the river and have since been buried. All 11 bodies? Yes, uh, three of them were saved, uh, rescued. Uh, they did not die, but eight out of the 11 uh, died. Okay. How critical is the transport situation in the area? Because we know that a ferry there has broken down for days. Yes. Uh, so, Portia, if you go to the Krachi Chumbru area, almost all the communities are connected by water. So, uh, before you commit from one community to the other, you have to cross it. Uh, the Oti River before you have access to the other community. So that is the kind of life they live. The majority of them travel by water. And so uh, to get access to a community, you have to use the water. And the canoe is the easiest way they can get access to the nice community. So that is what they are using, and that is what they've been using over the years. And uh, they do so without any... Uh, protection, no life jackets, no education. Uh, they only use their eyes to watch the weather and know whether to move or not. And because they use the canoe for their major activities like attending funerals, like attending uh, weddings and outdoors, and even going to their farms, uh, anytime they want to go, whether the water is stable for them or not. Once they have to get to the other community, they do so without any protection. Christopher, do you know the whereabouts of the canoe operator? Yes, so earlier today, the police in the district invited the canoe uh, 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 operator to the police station to answer some questions. Um, before uh, coming in on air, I had engagement with the assembly member for the area and he told me that he's yet to get information about uh, whether or not the police are detaining the canoe operator or they have let him uh, go. But what we do know is that he was invited by police to answer some questions and assist in uh, investigation. Just before you go, what are authorities doing to ensure this does not occur? Okay, so NADMO was in the uh, affected uh, area today to uh, take records of whatever that happened. Uh, but like I mentioned, there hasn't been any form of uh, protective attack over the years for these canoe operators. So NADMO has given the assurance that they are going to send a report to National and also recommend that every canoe be given some uh, life jackets so that uh, anytime they are uh, crossing the river, they'll be able to use it because that is the uh, major uh, 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 source of transport for the people around that area. Uh, the district chief executive, I understand, would also be visiting the area to ascertain for himself the, uh, uh, what has happened and how they could put measures in place to ensure that there is discipline amongst the canoe operators and that even if they are given the life jackets, the canoe operators adhere and use these life jackets. Thank you so much for your time and I've been speaking with Christopher Amwako, our correspondent.